What's going on guys? Lyndon SG Live here. I am in Murray River, Prince Edward Island. And it is currently now Tuesday or Thursday, July 27th. And we are going to be watching the Northumberland Fisheries Festival Parade. Now this is the 44th year for the Northumberland Fisheries Festival. Their, its main purpose is a fundraiser for the local arena, help them get some money for uh, startup costs for the upcoming fall winter season. And we've got a few different events happening besides the parade. While we uh, wait to get things going there, the parade starts well, as I'm recording this, starts roughly an uh, hour and 15 minutes. So, got to grab a spot early, you know. So, they've got different things happening. Besides the uh, parade, uh, there is a Texas Hold'em poker tournament upstairs of the Northumberland Arena. That starts at 7, started at 7 p.m. I'm just saying started because, well, not broadcasting live. Now, usual events on Friday. There's a poultry show for those that are into that sort of thing. The building uh, beside the arena. And in the uh, ball field across from the arena, they have various things there for, the ki for kids of all ages. Giant slip and slide from 12 till 3. Various uh, yard games such as Cornhole, Giant Connect 4, Jenga's. And there's going to be a rollerblading, a rollerblade skate in the arena at uh, 6.30. Saturday, that's where mo most of the activities happen. With a, a barbecue on the wharf starting at 10 a.m. along with log rolling open to anyone that wants to give it a go and uh, not afraid of getting wet. Uh, Farmer's Market on uh, Main Street of Murray River also at 10 o'clock going till 1. There is a show and shine up at the arena as well 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. I plan on trying to get some footage of the vehicles there as well. Uh, dory racing competition at the Murray River Wharf. I uh, forget if I mentioned they they're having a barbecue on the wharf as well during the log rolling and the dory rowing. So have a hot dog, grab a drink, and have a good time. Now they've been selling tickets on uh, takeout lobster suppers as well. The lobster supper is one of the big fundraising things for it. Uh, for the kids, a scavenger hunt at King's Castle Provincial Park at 2 p.m. Uh, softball game at 5.30. And one of the other big uh, fundraisers for the arena is a cash draw. I plan on getting my ticket this weekend. Someone takes home $20,000 and there's a few other draws as well Having a fireworks show at off the wharf at uh, 10 p.m. I'm gonna try to get some footage of that as well and pub night upstairs of the arena at 1030 They're dancing and whatnot, you know how pubs go and Sunday we have the Duck Tona 500, a rubber duck race. Yes, you heard me right. People purchase a duck for five dollars. First one across the finish line wins five hundred dollars. Second place gets two hundred. Third place gets one hundred. One of these times, I will win. So sit back, relax, grab a drink. My choice is coffee, but you do you. 
and we will be back soon. Oops, sorry. <laughs> to uh, go see the parade itself. <laughs>
coat. Well, I have no shortage of shopping bags in my car. Do you? <laughs> Maybe needed. Good plan. Doesn't help to boost the odds though. <laughs> yeah, I bought, ten, I bought ten dollars worth when they went by in the cart. Awesome. <laughs> and that is the conclusion of uh, the Fisheries Festival Parade. Hope you enjoyed the video. There again, I will have more aspects of the festival through the weekend. Hope you'll uh, tune in. Be sure to uh, like the videos if you do. 
consider hitting that subscription button. I do live stream video gaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And sometimes get some extra streams in when I can. So, till we meet again, the coffee shop is closed. And the motto, as ever, death before a decaf. Thank you all.